Hello, my name's Helen. I work for Cheshire East Libraries and I'd like to tell you about a book that I love. The novel I'm going to share with you today is The Lonely by Andrew Michael Hurley, published by John Murray. You might have read The Lonely already, or you might remember that it won the Costa First Novel Award in 2015. Andrew Michael Hurley was interviewed on the radio shortly after the publication of this, his first novel, and having listened to his own thoughts on the book's classification or genre, I'm still not sure whether to tell you that this is a horror story or not. I think that is something that you have to decide for yourself. The Lonely is written in the Gothic style and it's set in the 70s on a bleak, menacing stretch of the Lancashire coast that we would know as Morecambe Bay. Hurley tells the story of a family and a group of parishioners from St Jude's Catholic Church in London who head north on a pilgrimage to a shrine that they believe can cure a boy of his mutinous. The boy's brother is the narrator of this deeply disturbing tale of fear, faith, cruelty, superstition and the destructive nature of family relationships. This was one of those books that I kept meaning to read but I somehow didn't get around to it until I bought a copy for my dad for Christmas and shortly afterwards had a message from my sister who had, by chance, read the same book. She wondered what I thought of it. Within a couple of weeks, the whole of the family had read this and we could talk of nothing else. If you enjoy a book that's open to interpretation with some hard hitting themes and huge opportunity for discussion or even debate at the end, then this does exactly that. There is a sense that the author wants the reader's imagination to take over and fill in the deliberately blurred lines and spaces with subtext that is implied rather than made explicit. I don't want to give too much away, so no spoilers from me. And I'll avoid talking too much about the characters and their pilgrimage. But Hurley does explain that he has a fascination with fundamentalism and the lengths that people will go to in an attempt to banish doubt and fear from their lives. Faith is clearly a positive force in some of the characters and we find reassurance in their presence, but influencing metaphysical forces for personal gain takes others down a dark and terrifying path. When my daughter and I discussed this author, we both agreed that he is a master of the unnamed terror. And a lot of this is thanks to his excellent use of the landscape and weather to create atmosphere. Anyone who knows Morecambe Bay quite well will be familiar with its relentless rain, wind and grey, unpredictable tides. The sea with its dreadful and dangerous history of claiming lives and later uncovering bones is the perfect metaphor for Hurley to portray the burial and subsequent unearthing of terrible secrets. Maybe don't read this one by yourself in the dark. Thank you for listening. Look out for more books we love from Cheshire East Libraries coming soon. Bye for now.